Hello viewers, my name is Martin Dick Tumiyoshi. Welcome to my perspective and as you always do, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Dricks Production and also you can follow me on my page on Facebook. It's called Dr. Dricks. Make sure you like and follow so that you can see more of these videos when it comes to my perspective. Remember this is my perspective and everything I'm saying here, it's all my views. And uh, today I'm going to talk about employment. Yeah, employment, hustle, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, my message was more perspected on uh, the things that have been trending over the week, and uh, we have seen a lot of uh, people also lost their jobs in this corona era. And I send my gratitude to them and uh, tell them they, they should rise again, it's not the end of life. And uh, I will start with my story my story on how i started my journey and uh, i'll start in 2004 i joined uh, my media diploma in media in mass communication in thika tit the current uh, it, it was called uh, thika institute of technology and uh, right now it's uh, the current mount kenya university so when I finished uh, in 2006, I joined an attachment in KBC. Remember today I'll be also giving shout outs to people who have assisted me in everything I've done and up to where I am. So when I joined uh, Metro FM House of Reggae, the person who took me as an intern was uh, John Karani. John Karani was head of radio and uh, he was with Bill Odidi, assistant uh, head of radio. And I joined uh, Metro FM for almost uh, six months uh, as an intern. That was the year 2006. So in 2007, actually the same 2006, since I, uh, I was living by then with my relatives, but um, it was very hard for me to cope up. So I went to live with my sister because it was easier to live with my immediate sister. So. I went to Kisumu and uh, stayed with my sister and when I was there I joined a studio called ISCOM. Uh, it belonged to this lecturer called Nathan Bronze Asiago. He's a lecturer, he was a lecturer back then in Moy University and uh, he was doing film production in his in his studio, ISCOM Studios. He told me like uh, it was okay for me just to be hanging out there, I can get some jobs and uh, help and at least get something at the end of the day. And big shout out to Nathan Onsiago. I, I hear he's a lecturer currently at um, uh, Multimedia University. Yeah. So when I was in Metro FM in 2006, I met uh, this guy called His Majesty the Mighty King Kong. And he had this show called uh, Appointment with His Majesty. Since I was an intern, so my job was recording the show with Irene Kaimuri. We used to record the show so that it goes on air on Sunday. So when he finishes recording his show during the weekdays, I used to give him a push to town because, you know, my King Kong was, uh, was disabled and I could give him a push and we could talk. So when I was in Kisumu one day, Vijana Tugutuke, it was in 207, 206 actually, Vijana Tugutuke show that was peer-headed by uh, Big Ted and uh, KJ. They came at Kisumu and I happened to be having this mini DV and I recorded everything they, they had uh, performed. When King Kong saw me, he asked me, what are you doing here in Kisumu? The last time I checked you were in Metro FM and most media houses are in Nairobi. Why aren't you in Nairobi? At least you could be having a job. I told the mighty King Kong the truth that I wasn't able to live with uh, my relatives back then, so I decided to come to Kisumu and uh, live with my sister. And he told me one thing, if you have nowhere to live in Nairobi, I can host you. So you just take your time, you can stay this month, arrange yourself. When you're ready to come to Nairobi, just give me a call and I'll, I, I will host you. So it took me like three weeks, I cleared everything and I took a bus to Nairobi. Mighty King Kong met me and he hosted me in his house. 
In Metro FM, I remember John Karani, he was my boss. There was uh, Charity Karemi, there was Mo Maureen Baluto, big shout out, Sami Moraya, uh, Jeff Mwangemi, Bamzi, DJ Israel. All these people were very friendly to me back then. In 2008, I started, uh, there was this show that uh, was coming on air. It was called Urban Hype, uh, Urban Hype South Zamta. It was uh, running on NTV. I joined Urban Hype. It was just a new show. So when we were shooting Urban Hype, I met uh, Saudi Soul back then. They had just done their first video and it was called uh, Lazizi. So when we were interviewing the Matalions Francais, I took their video and I played it on uh, Urban Hype, Saudi Zamta. Actually, I was there. we were the first people to put that video on, on uh, MTV when it was just new one week old. And um, Urban Hype uh, went off here. In 2010, I joined um, NTV as a correspondent, news correspondent. I had this camera of mine and uh, I joined as a news correspondent. Um, I joined NTV since 2010 to 2014. I did uh, several stories. I met uh, my editors, Emmanuel Juma and um, Pamela Sigi and uh, several others uh, at NTV and uh, Actually, we had a good time because I could do stories, feature stories, sports stories, thanks to Seth Olale, thanks to uh, Ajoi, and uh, many more who really helped me. Even Shaban Ulaya really helped me as an editor on how to write a story and also how to shoot and make sure that uh, your story is uh, competent enough to be aired. So, unfortunately, I wasn't uh, employed fully in NTV. I was just a correspondent in Nairobi. So, I, I was still using my camera. So, unfortunately, my camera got lost. It, I, I was uh, robbed. My camera got lost. And um, I was unable to gather some money to get a camera so that I could go back to nation. So, all this time, I was uh, freelancing with the Ketable Music whereby we did several documentaries, including uh, the Songs of Protest, the, uh, the Retracing series, uh, Weapon of Mass Destruction, that was uh, the collab with the Alliance Francais. And um, uh, after NTV, I contributed in a lot of documentaries, including a book that we did. It was called uh, Shades of Benga, under Ketebulu. And uh, that was a research from 1956 to 2016. So it, it took a lot of time for that. So today I just want to talk about uh, employment. Since um, I studied uh, mass communication, I did uh, broadcast and journalism, freelance and feature writing, uh, newspaper reporting, advertising, marketing, and some editing. So these were some of the subject and I remember our freelance and future writing teacher, lecturer back then, he was very passionate about this freelance thing and I really passed by the way, ICM body on freelance and future writing. So every time I felt of employment, I knew I could earn a living without being employed by just hustling hard and make sure that I can even if it's, if it's contract, I can just hustle and make a living out of it. So I was a freelance all through. So my message today to the people who, are, who lost their jobs on K24, welcome to the world. Maybe it's another step whereby God has decided uh, you're bigger than what you are. So you should go out there. You should be independent thinker. You should uh, give all your best to yourself. Yeah. Uh, I think I'll read something here that really inspired me because I've seen um, an article, there was an article uh, Manesha Chizuga wrote and it really inspired me when it comes to, to the people who have lost their jobs and she says like this, friends, I wrote this letter to myself when I first lost my job back in 2015. I thought I should share because it changed my life. I hope it does to you. 
too, uh, too attached to a company never again. As long as your name is not listed as a shareholder or among us the owner of the company, don't be too comfortable. Use that platform, employment, to build yourself the same way you are so busy and committing in building another person's company. Employment should be a side hustle and, you, and your side hustle should be your full-time job. Start over, invest in it, build it, take a risk for it, lose sleep for it, get angry for it, furious for it, celebrate its success and uh, failureness because it has your DNA in it. To those who have lost their jobs, Poleni, but take the lessons with you so that next time it happens to you, be more than ready. It will be like transitioning to better you. I have been there twice and since then I'm no more I'm more than content with the person I have become. Independent thinker, grateful, blessed, success, hustler. My friends, don't be too attached to unemployment or companies and institutions that never asked your input when they were setting up or laying the foundation in the first place. That was the owner and the founder's vision or dream. You are just one to making that dream a reality and to sustain it and make profits or whatever and when the time comes to replace you they never even thought twice to remember your input but just saying what's theirs the time has come for you to rise live your dream and make it a reality so that one day you will stand tall and be counted among us the ones who made the best decision for themselves and their companies. I know it's tough, it hurts. Hearts are broken, but mine is to congratulate you all for accepting to live your best lives now. While you still have an energy and time to invest in yourself and rebuild what is rightfully yours, go out there, plant a seed. Let God show you that he is almighty. He is in control. Safari ndefu huanza na hatu moja. Congratulations for your job loss. Never a failure, always a lesson. Still standing, Manisha Chizuga, managing founder, Ariana Swahili Cuisine, Inside TV Manenos. Wow. That's Manisha Chizuga. She's saying all about self-employment. The end of your job, maybe if you're sacked, that's not the end of life my friend. You can still have your own company and you can still put everything in it and move and contribute a hundred percent of your energy to that company because it belongs to you. Yeah? Don't depend on someone's company. When times come to replace you, they will definitely do that. Yeah? If you get attached too much to a company, the moment you get there, you'll be depressed out of there. The moment you get out of there, you'll be depressed. Yeah. And you are as good the moment you are there. The moment you leave that house, no one will take your phone call. Even whoever you worked with, your best friend, your desk mate, your editor, they will never. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people get out of media. They were big names. And the moment they got out of media, no one even wants to see them yeah then uh, look at it at this perspective whereby you, you have a big name now you are jobless and you didn't make any foundation of yourself it's really hurts yeah so my fellow colleagues thank you very much i really congratulate you welcome to the industry push yourself notch higher and strive Never be disappointed. Maybe this is just the beginning of the journey. Let's do this. For all those years, my lecturer in freelance and feature writing told me and taught me that you can make it even without being fully employed. You can freelance. You can sell your stories. You can still do stories. We have online platforms. Look at what Jalango is doing. Excellent. Yeah. 
So guys, that's my perspective to today and uh, for this week. I hope uh, you liked it. I hope uh, you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called uh, uh, Drinks Production. And also you can follow my page on uh, Facebook. It's called uh, Dr. Drinks for more of this kind of stuff. Thank you very much and see you next time. See you when you see me for the next episode of My Perspective.